it's Leslie with Denmark's Vintage Cars. We're going to do a walk around on this 1983 Ford F-250 XLT diesel truck. And it's also got the trailer um, camper package on it as well. It's a really neat truck. It was originally bought new at um, Gibson Motors in Junction City. We've had several trucks from there, Junction City, Oregon. And we have the receipt in the auction from when they bought, I believe they uh, traded in a 67 Buick Skylark and then maybe a 77 Ford truck and bought this truck for around 15,000 back in the day. So that's pretty cool that we have that. You're gonna notice there's been some areas of spot repaint on this truck, mostly original, but the passenger door looks like it's been repainted. There was a repair done behind the, the fender on the driver's side as well. That paint looks shinier and newer than the rest. All in all, I think it has a great look to it. That's my opinion. We're running uh, BFGs with a date code of 2019. So those are ready to roll. I won't point out all the paint flaws on this. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see them all between the pictures, the video and the description. There's some patina up on the roof that we'll take a look at as well. Got a couple dings back here on the chrome. And then some wear here. There's a dent here. got a class three hitch on it, which is really nice. to see some of the age see in this door mostly on the green is what looks like it's been repainted because it's a little bit different shade if you're really studying it you can see that I would personally drive this truck anywhere. Drives great, runs great. It does have. All right, let's take a look at the interior of this truck. I love it. It's the green knit inside with wood grain. Could use some new window felts. I showed a picture of it in the gallery. Those could be replaced. <clears throat> Warranty tag. door and while we're here I don't know just a little peek at the cab corners I'll show a photo of this on the undercarriage but um, just so you can see what those look like and inside here we go beautiful really nice seat really nice wood grain on the dash this thing's got to look Got several aftermarket gauges. You have your tack, your water temp gauge. Oops, the sun's kind of in that water temp gauge. And then here's your 
normal instrument cluster. Factory AM FM radio. It's your heat controls. And then this is an aftermarket bank's exhaust temp gauge. And then an oil temp gauge over here. Usually I would take this out, but I love these little tapes. No smoking. And there is no smoke smell, by the way. Because <laughs> there was no smoking in here. I just left it on because I like those. You can see it's got a crack at the speaker on the dash. Otherwise, it looks in nice shape to me. The seats are gorgeous, in my opinion. You be the judge. The carpet itself, so the floor mats are going to come with it. The carpet itself is a little bit worn. Um, you'll see on this side right here, there's a cut. But it's, it's, it's not really even worn. That's not even really the right word, I guess. I mean, I guess it does have some age to it, but it does have this. And then on the other side, there's another one that I'll show you when we get over there. And here's your kick panel. I'll show you behind the seat. And then the back of the seat. see how original this is really nice and then up above it's just painted on the inside of the roof so there's no headliner and then you have your visors and this one and then I'll swing around to the other side show you that side of the truck So on this side, you can see where there's a cut in the carpet right here. So it lays down fine and it's in relatively good shape, but it's good to know that those are there and the floor mats do cover it up pretty well <clears throat> just for daily use. See, it just covers that nice, but wanted you to make sure to see that. And then, I mean, this is all in relatively good shape here. And then here's the other side. A little bit of worn right here. Glove box. I don't know that I've ever seen wood grain of this age look so nice, truly. Looks really good in my opinion, but hopefully that helps. Um, Again, let us know if you have any questions. If there's anything that we can help you with, we're happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, thanks for checking it out. And thanks for having fun with us with all these old cars and trucks. We really love it. Okay, let's take a look under the hood of this truck. So as I said in the beginning, it's a 6.9 diesel V8 motor. Just showing you the condition of the hood. And then we'll look at the motor. Here's your motor. And it's got the Banks Power Pack on it. I don't actually know when they started making the Banks. Um, but this is a nice ad. We've had several trucks with the Banks on it. And 
really does give some added horsepower. You can see the stamping on the back firewall from the factory back in the day. Those are always neat. It does have dual batteries in it. Like I said, it had the camper trailer tow package on it. it does have the camper trailer tow package. And uh, <clears throat> so dual batteries is a nice add for that. The truck does have air conditioning. Um, I don't think it's clicking on, so I would assume it's not working. I'll update in the auction if it is. I'm by myself, and so I was having a hard time hearing if the compressor was switching on, but it didn't feel very cold to me, so I'm going to take a look at it um, with our mechanic when I get back to the shop, but I, I don't think so, so if it does work, I'll update. So you can see it's really nice condition under here. Also to open the hood, this is a small thing, but there's a lever inside and then you push down. They're all a little different, but um, this one's relatively simple to do. Let's take a look at the bed. drip rails in the front of the hood let's go back so you can see a whole view you can see the patina on the top and then some of the surface corrosion back here something today. What? A Chevy hood is easier to open than a Ford hood. Can I tell you why? Why? Because you have to work on Chevy's a lot more than Ford's. <laughs> <laughs>